guys it's Gabrielle and welcome to my channel and for another video so today I'm gonna to be showing you the deep conditioner I use to restore moisture and softness to my hair especially after drying mud like the herbal hair powder that was very very drying and for these I simply use conditioners that are meant to be on the hair for three minutes and I modify them in order to make them into a deep conditioner naturally my top choice is the is the vo5 and that's the shea cashmere but I found out that they've discontinued this one so I'm currently in search of another conditioner that I'm gonna be using on rotation and at the moment I'm using the Pantene Pro V the nature fusion moisture balance conditioner because the idea is to make a moisturizing deep conditioner now after I use the mud sometimes my hair is very very dry because the mud strengthen my hair but also sometimes they suck all the natural oils from the hair so the hair feels very straw like and so we have to rebalance this by adding uh, some oils to the hair so that the hair is manageable and so I don't like buying a deep conditioner specifically to use as a deep conditioner because I don't deep condition my hair that often instead I prefer to just use the ingredients I have because I've spent a lot of money on herbs a lot of money on oils and a lot of money on essential oil so I prefer to use those um, and make a deep conditioner myself and this is great because I can always customize based on my needs now because my hair is light density I like like conditioners so here I am gonna add some oil to it I'm gonna add some essential oils and I'm also gonna add some aloe vera juice now the amount of aloe vera juice will depend on how thick or thin you like your conditioner also the conditioner choices will depend on how thick or thin your hair is for me the thicker the conditioner the more it's gonna weigh my hair down because I have light density it means that I don't really need a very very thick conditioner as somebody who has very high density hair so I added a tablespoon of aloe vera juice and again I find it easier if I just mix one ingredient at a time so that I make sure it's fully incorporated in the mix so I added a tablespoon of aloe vera juice and a tablespoon of my herbal oil and this is good because it's got the growth herbs it's got that growth blend and so it's more than just the oil of course you can use any oil of your choice but in this blend I have avocado coconut and olive oils and then that's blended into a whole bunch of herbs so it is a very good oil also as far as the essential oils go it's up to you uh, which ones you use there are no wrong essential oils I would only say be careful about the drying ones like uh, the citrus ones but I use anything from peppermint to lavender to sweet orange to rosemary so it just depends on what I'm going for and that's why I like making the deep conditioner whenever I need it because I can customize based Based on whatever issue I'm trying to resolve with my hair so for a light density hair I like it very very thin as you can see the texture there and I add ingredients one at a time and in order to make sure that they are really well mixed into the deep conditioner then after that it's just a question of applying the product and as you can see it's very very thin and a lot of people would not like this especially if you have thick hair this would be too thin probably and uh, again personal preference there as far as using the deep conditioner goes, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do this. It's simply a question of your personal preference and what is most efficient for you. And for me, that method is the prayer motion. And I like this method for several reasons. Number one is I am able to distribute the product evenly, which means that I'm not heavily coating one section and ignoring another. Number two, I can cover a lot more surface area, which is important, especially after a very drying mud like this one. And number Number three and I think most important is I'm able to feel where potential problems are and I can go back and either detangle those sections or apply more product based on whatever the need is so the prayer motion for me has been very effective and I would highly recommend it if you haven't tried it and so applying the conditioner itself I work in layers and this is why I like a lighter or a thinner conditioner and that's because I coat my palms and the first time I pass across the that section of hair it will completely absorb the conditioner so I coat my palms again and I do this once twice and three times to make sure that that section is thoroughly saturated with conditioner and then from there another thing I use is my fingers to just comb the conditioner through to make sure all all my strands have some kind of uh, 
contact with the conditioner because the goal is to deep condition and cover as much surface area as possible. I have light density hair and I found that combs was were well, pulling my hair, a lot more hair loss using a comb. And so for somebody with light density hair, the more strands you lose, the more sparse your hair looks. So I decided to use my fingers because I experienced the least amount of breakage by using my fingers. Also with my fingers, I'm able to control if there's a snag, I simply stop. And like a comb, sometimes it's too late, it's passed through and it's dragged hair out. So if you haven't tried using your hands, I would definitely recommend that even for once just to see how you like it. I am working in very small sections to make sure that again a lot of the hair gets in contact with the conditioner and then I simply twist those sections when I'm done. As far as heat is concerned, I use it sometimes and sometimes not. In this instance, I used it because I felt like it was necessary to have a very deep condition, but you don't have to use it. You can keep the conditioner in your hair for a while, maybe two, three hours, and then it's good. And normally that's what I would do, uh, but sometimes I feel like heat is necessary and then I sit under the dryer. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Additional notes will be linked in the info bar below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care and be safe until then. Bye.